Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can assign an additional IP address to our network interface up inside of Windows 10. So there are any number of reasons why you may want to assign a secondary IP address to your network interface on your Windows 10 machine, such as you need to be able to connect to a different network using a different network IP address. So let's see how we do this. Now another way that we can access the TCP IP properties for our current network adapter is we can go down here and we can right click on our network icon from the taskbar. We can right click and we can select open network and internet settings. From here we can just click on the ethernet and again I can go over here to the right and select change adapter options and you'll see that I'm currently up inside of my network adapter. Now the first thing we want to do when we're looking at adding an IP address is learn the name of our current network adapter that's in use and see what current IP address has been assigned. To do this we can bring up the command prompt and I'm just going to right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Now from here we're going to just type in ipconfig and you'll see that currently the IP address that I have assigned to this Windows 10 machine is 192.168.145.30 with a default subnet mask of 255.255.255 and I have a default gateway. Now the default gateway is the IP address for the internal interface of my router. Now I need this so that I can get off of my network. So let's say that I have two discontiguous networks and in the router we have static mappings or we have routing information that will take me from one network to another network and these networks have different network IP addresses and this is what makes them discontiguous. So unless I have a router I cannot go from one network to the other. But to do this, I also have to be able to join or see each network. And to do this, I have to have an IP address assigned to the adapter that is part of that network. So let's see how we go about assigning an additional IP address to this network adapter called Ethernet. I'm going to close out my command prompt. I'm going to go down here and on my network adapter icon I'm just going to open up network and internet settings and again I'm going to click over here in the left window pane to launch Ethernet and then I'm going to click over here on the right where it says change adapter options now for this to work I have to have a static IP address assigned to this particular network adapter which I currently do with this enabled in this configuration I can then click on the advanced tab and from here I can click on underneath IP addresses and I can click the add button and I can add my secondary IP address. I can also type in the subnet mask and then I can click add and now I have a secondary IP address assigned to this network interface click OK and click OK. Now when I bring up the command prompt, let's do that one more time, and I type in ipconfig, you'll see that I'm going to have two IP addresses assigned to this network adapter and I don't. Now for this second IP address to actually appear up inside of the ipconfig results, you may have to restart your machine to clear out the current TCP IP default settings. So what I've done is I've restarted my machine. I'm going to bring up the command prompt again. And again I'm going to right click on the command prompt. I'm going to run as administrator. And I'm going to type in ipconfig one more time. And you'll see that I currently have two IP addresses that are assigned to this machine. We can also use PowerShell to add a secondary IP address to our current network adapter. Now to do this I'm just going to open up the search bar next to my start button. I'm going to type in PowerShell 
And again, I'm going to right click on PowerShell. I'm going to run as administrator. So at the PowerShell prompt, I can use the new dash net IP address command. And I can use the following syntax. I have to type in space dash IP address. Then I assign the IP address that I want this network adapter to have as a secondary. And I then give it a space. And now I'm going to type in the subnet mask using the dash prefix link command, which is 24, which is the default. The next thing I have to do is tell it which interface I want to use using the name that is assigned to the interface. In this case, my interface has the name of Ethernet. Now I have to give that a space and I type in skip source. Then I have to give this a space and I have to type in dash skip as source true with a dollar sign in front of that. And now what I do is I just make sure that everything's correct, and then I hit enter. And after a moment, it comes up and it shows me that the IP address has been assigned to that network adapter of 192.168.1.92. And again, I can go down here at the prompt, and I can type in ipconfig to confirm this. And you'll see that I have a number of IP address is currently assigned to this network. I have one that is the primary and then I have two secondaries. Now the third method that I can use to assign a secondary IP address to an interface on this Windows 10 machine is to use the net sh command. To do this I'm going to bring up the command prompt. I'm going to right click on the command prompt and I'm going to select run as administrator. Once I'm at the command prompt, I'm just going to type in the following NetSH command. NetSH space INT, this is interface IP version 4, add the following address to the following interface with the name of Ethernet. Give that a space. And now I'm going to type in the IP address followed by the subnet mask followed by skip as source equals true. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now you got to give it a second to make the configuration changes. In this case it comes back and it tells me that the secondary IP address already exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my up arrow. I'm going to bring back up that command and I'm going to change that IP address to something else. And so I've changed the network IP address to a dot two. And now again I'm going to press enter and it comes back letting me know that the command completed successfully. So now I can type in ipconfig one more time. And you'll see that I also have another IP address of, and you'll see that I have another IP address of 192.168.2.92 that I just added using the net sh command. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about adding a secondary IP address to our network interface in Windows 10. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that was presented to you in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.